Good morning. Good morning, people. All right, so real quick, I'm just waking up out of this dream. Um, I haven't even got up yet. I haven't even washed my face, none of that shit, because uh, I wanted to go ahead and document this dream. Um, so I won't forget. But uh, now, uh, those who have uh, been subscribed to my channel or whatever for a long time, or if you've been following me for a long time, uh, when I talk about dreams, y'all already know, you know, um, y'all already know I do a lot of talking about dreams when I do. And um, I have went over things like this for so long. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Even before I started a YouTube channel. I have said in previous videos, I have said like in my past in my life that I know when dreams are just pointless dreams for me. I'm talking about for me. I know when there's no point to it. I know when there's no indication, there's no sign there. I, I know I know it's just it's just a, a a repressing thought that I suppressed. Yeah, it's a suppressing thought that I suppressed subcon in my subconscious. Meaning like it means nothing. It's just it's just a, a suppressing thought, but uh, I also know when I've had dreams, when I have dreams, that something is trying to tell me something. Meaning, like I know when dreams are pointless, they don't have no meaning to it, and I also know. When dreams are spiritual, meaning like it's a sign, it's a warning, it's a message, or it's an attack. It's those four, but but I know it. I know it means something. Now, this is how I, I can't now. I can't explain to y'all how I know the difference, but I just do. Uh, I think that. Me having spiritual dreams, I think it's a part of my gift of manifestation. When a prophet uh, that I met back in 2014, how he was telling me, like, you have the gift of manifestation. Um, he, he, he was like, well, I talked about this on my channel. And I'm going to just break it down real short because I already talked about this. If you want to hear more about this, uh, comment below. If you want to hear me talk more about this, uh, when I met when I met this prophet, but uh, long story short, he would say everybody got spiritual gifts. This person might got a spiritual gift in this. This person might got a spiritual gift in that. He told me my spiritual gift is a gift of awareness, but your main top ranking gift is a gift of manifestation. I mean, like whatever you speak on gonna happen. You got a gift to make things happen. Uh, he would tell me, like, when my words, I have the power to bring things into existence in a way that most people can't. He said, with my, with, with, my, with my imagination, with my thoughts, whatever I visualize, whatever I, I imagine, whatever I constantly think, he said, you have a you have a a a, a get, he say you got the gift of manifestation. So with your words, you create reality. With your thoughts, you create your world. And he would tell me that's the reason why God gave you this big imagination. You always thought you were strange. Everybody say you were strange because what? Because the things that you will imagine. But the reason why that's part of your that's your gift of manifestation. The reason why God gave you this this imagination out of this world because He's trying to. It, that was the whole key. Whatever you keep imagining, 
Whatever you keep repeating over and over in your imagination is, is going to be your world. So, um, I think, so long story short, I think my dreams are part of my gift of my manifestation because any spiritual dream I've ever had, it happened. Nine times out of ten, it has it has happened. And um it's it's things that I wasn't I wasn't even planning on dreaming, and that's also how I know. That's one sign how I know that when I do have a spiritual dream, it's not just a dream. And I'm and and, and also how I know is because it feel like I can't really describe to y'all this feeling, but it's a feeling that feels like no matter where I'm sleeping at and uh, no matter where I'm at, it's a feeling of I'm, I'm waking up out of my sleep and, and, and I'm being taken somewhere. These are the spiritual dreams. Because because it is it's as real as it can be. And I and and in these dreams, I am dreaming things that it, it, it never was on my mind. Um right like at the time it wasn't on my mind, or it's like I would get the answer um maybe months from now or weeks from now. So, I'm going to just say it like this, right? So, there's a situation going on in my life right now that I really don't want to talk about. I might talk about it maybe maybe at the end of this year. Or I might never talk about it. Uh, it could be something just saying, just don't even speak, don't, don't even go into detail but you can't but but try your best to talk about it in 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 a way people might understand so i'm going to just say it like this there's a situation going on in my life right now and it's been going on in my life uh i'm going to say for like 3 4 months for i'm going to say for about 3 months now and there's a and there's a situation of a choice that's okay, it's a situation that has been made. Now I already been having crazy spiritual dreams about this situation. Like Last year, the year before that, and the year before that, I just, I just, I just always try to uh, blank it out of my mind, sweep it under the rug. Now I remember like talking to this wise man one time, and he was telling me like, you know when you are having spiritual dreams, why are you trying to ignore this one? You never ignored all the other ones, but you were trying your best to ignore this one. But yet this spiritual dream, it keeps showing back up to you, don't it? Because it's already trying to tell you something. But I, I always said to myself, I'm saying this to myself, like I'm ignore that. I don't want to hear it. And I'm going to tell you, anytime I've ever done that, when I know something trying to tell me right, Nothing good ever came out of me doing that. Nothing. And as a matter of fact, things have gotten worse. If I get a spiritual dream or a spiritual message or, you know, uh, someone spiritual is, is, is telling me that there's a sign trying to tell you something. And I say, yeah, you're right. But I don't want to hear that. And I ignored it. Anytime I've ever done that in my past. Nothing good ever happened in that situation. 
and their situation have always gotten worse. That's why today, the 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 new me, I know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say when I got like 25 years old, I knew not to ignore those kind of things no more. Don't do it no more because I've seen where it has gotten me. And every time I've done it, things got worse in my life. So when I when I talked to when I met the prophet and he was telling me things, things that I need to do, things that I need to let go, things that I need to go after, things that I need to pursue. I took his advice and I ran with it and I never looked back. I never ignored it. And I and I said, I refuse to ignore this this time. And he would tell me anytime you get anytime, the, anytime this type of stuff start coming to you in your life again, you know, you need to run. Now, you know, you need to run. Now, if you choose to ignore these signs again, this he, he was like, Kaja, you can't blame nobody but yourself. So now every time I see it, I know to run. So in this situation that's going on in my life right now, the decision has been made. But before, before all this even happened, I don't know if I don't, it's like, there was this voice, I'm going I'm to I'm say, yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to say at the end of last year, it had to be like right when the new year is about to hit, somewhere around December the 28th. I'm going to say right around December the 28th, 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. There's a voice. In those four days, it's like a voice was whispering me, whispering to me over and over in my sleep, telling me it is done. The decision has been made. Like, what, what does that mean? I never knew what it meant, but when I when I get up the next day, I had this strong, strong feeling. I said, man, something is going to change in 2023. And I keep hearing this voice in my head. I keep hearing this when I go to sleep. I'm like, something is going to change in 2023. Now, I'm saying this in December of 2022, right at the end of December. I say, something going to change next year. It's not going to be the same. I think the only person I would tell that to was my mama and maybe my brother. And my mama, she kind of know that I have this gift and she kind of know like I got these spiritual dreams I had. Because every time I would talk, tell her I had a dream, she was like, what happened? What happened at it? Or she would ask me, you been having any, been having any dreams lately? You know, those type of dreams. She'd be wanting to know. Because she already know, like, every time I dream stuff like this, this stuff have happened. Every time, almost every single time. And I told her about a dream that I had recently. And when I told her what happened in this dream, she just got quiet. She didn't say nothing. Nothing. Normally, my mama would give me some pushback. But every time my mama would get quiet and just shut down and don't say nothing. That's always been the sign. Trying to tell me. Something's trying to let her know and let me know this is the truth. Whatever you dream, this is truth. So. Let me just go on and get into it. So. A situation happened this year, earlier this year, and I, the situation that happened this year, I had already dreamed this last year and a year before that and a year before that. And I would just ask myself, why am I dreaming this? I'm not, I'm not, 
I'm not um, thinking about this. And the voice said, you already know why you're dreaming this. And it happened. It happened this year. What happened, I didn't plan on ha this happening. I didn't plan on it at all because as a matter of fact, in this moment, when this happened, I was trying to, I, I was already frustrated because of, you know, personal things, money and stuff like that, trying to figure out, you know, <clears throat> how I'm going how I'm to keep doing this and how I'm going to keep accomplish my dreams. So what I do is I just get real quiet, try to be still and stay to myself, stay away from people because, you know, I like, you know, it's a peace, be still. So I'll be trying to do that. And bam, the situation just happened. So it happened, it happened. And right then and there, I knew what had, it's, it's like, it's like, I, I knew it. Like I, like I, I, I knew, I knew what it was. I knew it, and I knew, like, man, this is, this is, this is what I, this is what I've been seeing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna listen to the prophet. I'm gonna listen to the prophet, like I said. He's, and not only that, listen to my, listen to my dreams. So, um. About about two weeks ago, and, and like and like I said, when I when I have these spiritual dreams, it's, it happens when it's not on my mind. It's not on my mind. I might question God, call out to the universe about the topic or about a situation. And that situation, in that situation, or that topic, it won't even come to me that night. It always happened like two weeks later or maybe a month later. And then I get my answer to what, you know, to what I would ask God about, talk to the, call out to the universe about. And once I dream it two weeks later or a month later, Maybe less than a week it'll happen in real life. That kind of like how the process always been all my life. So about I'ma say about now this is kind of crazy because this this happened, it normally don't come this fast. Well, yeah, yeah, because I did say about two weeks. So one day. I'm sitting in the living room. Well, I'm going to say one night. One night, I'm sitting in the living room. And I was quiet that whole day. Fasting. And I'm still fasting, too. I'm telling you. It's something It's something about fasting, dog, that you see things, man. Now, I've already been able to see things in dreams and visions. But when I go without eating days, no food, man, I man, I it is almost like I get teleported to another world to show me things, and then I and then it's like I'm coming back to this world, and then in this world I will see that very same thing. Maybe two weeks from now. I would hear things like crazy. Like it's, it's it's weird. It's weird when I fast. It's almost like when I fast, I can I can tap into my gift of manifestation even even deeper. My ideas become even stronger. My visualization gets even better. It's it's so weird how it happens. I I wish so bad I can show y'all what I be seeing, but it's like you got to have this this gift in order to, to really get it or to understand it or to see it or to even ex experience it or to witness it. So this particular night, two weeks, two weeks ago, I'm sitting in the living room. I got a peaceful music playing. 
It's real quiet. I'm quiet the whole day. I'm sitting on a couch. I start talking to God. In my mind and in my and in a whisper. And I say, I'm trusting, I'm trying to trust you in this decision that has taken place. Is this the right decision? Now, from what I've been seeing, I've been getting signs like crazy. But God, I know you are the source. If it's possible, give me a sign or another sign. Let me know. Is this the right decision? Because what's going to happen later on this year? It's kind of going to let me further know. <clears throat> and I left it at that. I go to sleep, dream nothing. Next night, dream nothing. Next night, dream nothing. Next night, dream something that don't have nothing to do with anything. Next night, dreaming about weird stuff don't have nothing to do with anything. I I I know these dreams. I know these these dreams are pointless. But this week, now here comes the spiritual dreams. The first one about two children I know about. The second one is about my dad. Third one, mom and sis. Fourth one is about people that I know in my life right now, but they're not related to me. They're not related to me. They're not family members. They're not even friends of my family, but I know them. I'm not going to say who they are. I know them. I knew, but I know that dream is spiritual. Next dream, I dreamed of a young woman that I knew years ago. I dreamed of her. I don't really like the dream. And I'm and I'm about to say what this dream means, but I dreamed of her years. I'm like I dreamed of her years ago. I mean, I mean, I dreamed of her, but I haven't seen or heard from her years ago. I think the last time I seen or heard from this from this young woman, man, I probably was just graduating high school. Probably like the 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 year after graduating high school. Haven't seen or heard from her in years. But this week or whatever, I dreamed of her. Wake up the next morning. I said, man, I need to go to Dollar Tree, get some, get some, you know, toilet paper, whatever, paper towels. Kid you not, I walk right in the Dollar Tree, right down the street from my house. That young woman standing right there in the line. She looked at me. I looked at her. She just staring at me, not saying nothing. I just walked off. But in the dream, if you saw what was happening in the dream, something was telling me stay away, stay away from this young woman. See, in the dream, dreams give it to you clear. I say you. Talking to God, I don't know what this means. Well, like the prophet used to tell me, maybe you need to go on a fast. Maybe you need to get deeper into your gift. You know, because you, you know, uh, you know. So anyway, what was happening in the dream? It let me know, stay away from her. 
Like, in other words, I'm showing you this young woman. Now, you haven't seen, heard of, thought about this young woman. And it's not nobody I dated. You know, I think this is somebody like me in high school who had a crush on me, whatever. You know, but the dream was trying to show me. Which the dream was telling me, and I and I heard and I, I heard the voice. It was like, when you see this person show back up, you run. Don't try to don't try to don't don't make no small talk. Don't try to no, know you run. You run from this person because something is trying to plan something against you. I'm like, why? Why? So anyway, I see the person in the store the next morning in real life. Say, nah, man. I I, I, I remember the dream. The vision that is run. I didn't even say nothing. I, I, I just I just I just walked away. Bam, then it hit me. Some say you dodged a bullet. Now, the dream that I had that I'm just waking up now, that's why I had to just grab my phone. I haven't, like I said, I haven't got up yet. I haven't washed my face. I haven't done nothing. <clears throat> so, the dream that I had last night, or vision, I'm going to say it was a vision. Spiritual dreams or visions. It, this dream slash vision is the answer of me questioning God the other night. Am I making, is this the right decision to be made? Even if. I don't understand it, but I understand, but what I do understand, this has to be done. And I see what things have gotten. Is this the right decision? Well, last night, or or maybe in the early morning hours, probably four o'clock in the morning, maybe. Because when I when I did first wake up out the dream. I saw the sun like rising just a little bit. It wasn't fully out, but the sky was just was just starting to light up. And I knew like around this time it had to be by maybe four or something in the morning. But I went back to sleep and I woke up again. Now I'm up and I'm like, well, I get it. And and most of the times when I have spiritual dreams, that will happen like that. Like, well, I wake up out of them. I look around. I look around. Huh? What's like? What was that? What? What was that? What, what was the reason for that? Then I lay back down. I go to sleep. Now I wake up again, and the sun is out shining bright, hitting my face, and I'm like, Oh man! I, now I know. I understand. It always be like that, and this is how this was. So let me just. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to get into full detail of the dream. Not yet. Not yet. Something telling me don't really say everything yet. Wait until a few months go by. And then later on, if you choose to explain the dream, you can. But right now, not right now, not not today. But it, but but break down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do it like this. That night, talking to God on the couch, asking Him those things. It had to do with a similar topic, with a similar person. And similar people. Well, 
that similar topic with that similar person and those similar people this what this dream was based upon and what was happening in the dream is that I was being lied on. And something was trying to trap me and convict me with this lie. I'm I'm thinking to myself now in the dream I'm saying I know this is not true. I know this can't be true because I didn't I didn't even do that. I was being accused of something that I did last week. Let's say that that's what the dream was about. No 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 no. Not let let not last week about Okay, let's say in the dream, I was being lied on and I was being accused of something that I did. And they tell me, first it's that particular person is telling me that you did this about two, three weeks ago. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I'm like, no, I didn't. And I know I didn't. Now, the other similar people that were around they thinking I'm did it. They they thinking I did this particular thing because this particular person said that I did it, but they wasn't there. So they don't have no proof. The only proof was the person that was accusing me of these things or, or this thing. And. They they could do that because they they knew they was the only one that was there. So I'm like, but I didn't I didn't do that. Like I didn't do that. And I'm like, man, I can't believe this. Like I I didn't. So this particular lie that was being told on me in the dream. An angel came to me in the form of a family member. I knew it was an angel. And I always know when angels come to me because it's always a bright light. But they always they always either don't let me see their face or they disguise themselves as someone I know. And the presence feels warm. Feels good. It's a it's a good feeling like when you're standing around them. So this angel came to me dressed in an all white suit, a glowing suit, too. And, and it glows and it's like it looked like a, 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 a gold mist shining off of his suit. But he came. To, but this angel came to me in a family member. But this family member, I knew it wasn't really them. I, I knew it was an angel in the sky. So this angel came to me and this angel. And I knew it was an angel. So I'm asking the angel, I say, why are they doing this? Why, why, are they, why are they making this up about me like this? Why are they lying on me like this? And this angel said, you want to know why? They are planning on trapping you with that lie. Huh? And I'm like, huh? And the angel said, yeah, they're trying to trap you. They're trying to trap you with that lie. They're trying to make everybody convinced and believe in them. I say, but I don't care about what someone believe or what they don't believe and the angel said of course you don't care because you uh, you 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 understand what has happened and you understand the truth you just want a better life you just want a better chapter in life you just want to pursue 
your callings, your goals, your dreams. You don't really care no more what people believe about you because, you know, people going to believe what they want to believe anyway. Whether you tell them the truth or not, you already know people. Then this is what this angel, you know, it's me and an angel back and forth. And it's like, you already know whether you tell people the truth or not. You already know people. Go, you have already woken up to that. People going to believe what they want to believe anyway, no matter what you say. So since you already know that, the only thing you want to do now is just move forward in life and try to chase your calling. This particular person knows this. So this particular person wants to trap you with a lie. And I was like, but but that though, that didn't happen. So the angel does this thing where it puts me in someone else's shoes. And it takes me back while I'm standing there. And it takes me back. And like it takes me back a few years, like 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 years ago. And I see that same particular person and an angel kind of like showing me that same particular person, but showing them what was taking place back then. And the angel basically is like, look at them. You see? And I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow. I say, but this don't got nothing to do with me. This don't have nothing to do with me. And Angel kind of was just saying, like, because you seeing what's taking place is why. Because, OK, because you seeing what's taking place now, because the angel took me back to a past to look at this person. For whatever reason, I guess. And then it's like. I can't explain it, man. I really, I really can't, you know, forgive me if I'm, you know, creative, forgive me if I'm, if I'm, if if I'm going off the deep end, but it's kind of like, I really don't, I really didn't fully understand it, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm seeing the past of a person and now I'm seeing this, what, what, ha what has happened now, now I get why it happened. And and now and now I know what got to be done. Something like that. So I'm seeing this being happened to me in the dream. This particular person is trying to trap me with a lie. Convict me with a lie. I'm like, this can't be true. This can't be true, man. Like, like this, this, and an angel say, it's not true. It's not. All of us know it's not. It's just that <clears throat> other, it's just that people probably don't know it's not true. But the angel say, all of us, we know it's not true. And he, and, and the angel say, don't worry about it though, because everything is going to be revealed that this has nothing to do with you. There's no proof that that was you. And that. It's about to make that person look bad. Because it's like. How do you, I'm trying to say how, how do you put it, man? Okay, the, the 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 angel the angel was basically trying to tell me we know this this we know this is a lie that's that is trying to convict you and set you up in the wrong way. Don't worry about that because what, what, what the angel said what we are finna do 
what we're finna get ready to do, we finna have your back. But we finna, but since they want to set up this, you know, this, this, this trap on you or whatever, what we're about to do. It's finna, he's, I know what he was trying to say, but I can I cannot put it in words the way he said it, because the way he said it. It don't even sound like something from this world, the way he said it. Only thing I really could caught was we know they we know they they trying to trap you with this lie, convict you with this lie. But what we're about to do, we about to and the way he just broke it down, it was like, what? what? I, I knew what he I knew what I knew what he was trying to say. But I, I can't explain it, y'all. I'm sorry. I and mean, you see me, I'm trying to put it in words, but I can't explain it the way he done it. I can't. I don't think I ever would. Let's just say I I understood what he was saying. And you know what this angel say? I I can hear him, but 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 I can then he didn't start talking to me, but his lips weren't moving. It's like he was talking to me in my mind. And it's like I lay back down. I'm laying down in a dream. And I can hear him kind of like real quiet, like, 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 it's all right. Just like, just go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. That's how I know I'm closing my eyes. But I'm opening my eyes back up again real quick. And I wake up <gasps> deep breath like I, like I always happen. And I'm on my, I'm laying on this couch. Yeah, so to sum it all up, in the dream, the voice was telling me, yes, the answer to your question is yes. This is the right decision. Might even hurts. And it has been hurting. But that 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 was that was the answer. And it's almost like it was trying to tell me you you saw the signs all along. Through this whole time, I I have given you dreams. That you have never had in your life. Why would I do that? I've given you visions you have never had in your life. Why would I do that? And you ignored every last one of them. But you knew what it meant. So to answer your question. Yes. Now. This. Is. Another thing that I don't know about, but I don't think I I could be wrong. I don't think I'm gonna see an answer to this to this uh question until probably later on this year. Probably like as this year starts to come to an end. I'm gonna say maybe somewhere in I don't know, maybe maybe September, October, I think that's when I'm going to see something. Because there's another question that I'm asking, God, and there's another affirmation or manifestation, whatever you want to call it, that I'm calling out to the universe. I'm not seeing nothing with this. I'm talking about nothing, not not. Now, well, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say as of this year, um, uh, or maybe I am seeing it in my dreams. Maybe I'm overlooking it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think I think that yeah, that so that is. It just came to me in my mind. 
I have been seeing visions of this in my dreams. Both of these things. I'm not going to say what they are right now. Just remember this saying, both of these things, both of these things, both of these things. Because I am going to talk about it, but not right now. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, in real life, I don't think I'm about to witness it or see it right now. For this month and maybe even next month. I don't think I'm going to see. I could be wrong. I'm just going off what I feel. And, and I just, like, I, like I say this while I'm fast. I don't think. I think when I think I think when. Both of these things take place into into reality, I think it's going to be. Somewhere around October, maybe, maybe, maybe September, and, and so on and so on. Maybe I got a, I, I got, I, I got a feeling that I got a feeling that it's later on in the year. It's not now. Like in other words, something is saying what has to be done right now has to be done right now. In order for that, in order for both of these things, if that makes sense. I, I know, y'all, I know it's weird. I'm, I'm trying to, as of right now, I'm trying to talk in codes, but give y'all what, I'm, what, I, what I've been kind of feeling or seeing. Because sometimes I do get these feelings that something do be telling me don't, don't, talk, don't, don't say too much right now. I don't know why, but I do be getting these feelings. Hey, don't just don't say too much right now. You can, you can talk about it, but don't go into detail of it right now. Like, like like everything has its season, but I do. It is amazing how I I I, I had this this vision about that on today, but I knew that was the sign though. I knew that was a I, I I knew that was it, man. So the it's it's almost like something. I think God is saying the universe, whatever, like in the, in the dream and the vision. The the what you the the path that you're on right now, you are on the you are on the right path. But but it don't don't get don't get distracted this time. Don't don't. Don't listen. Keep going. Because. And the reason why I feel and the reason why I also know this is true, because when I met when I met the prophet, he told me to do he told me to do this and I wouldn't listen. He told me the same exact thing. I'm hearing the same voice, the same voice in these dreams. He told me the same thing. Don't get distracted. Don't look back. Keep going. Stay on your path. Chase your goals. Go after your dreams. You know, uh, uh, pursue your pursue your 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 projects. Pursue your calling. All this kind of stuff. And when he was telling me this, there were people all of a sudden coming out of nowhere from my past, wanting to be in my life again. And there were women all of a sudden coming out of nowhere, wanting to date me. There were women c coming out of nowhere all of a sudden, wanting to sleep with me. There were it was like all these distractions just was just coming out of nowhere. Something trying to distract me off my message or to, to distract me off my, off what I'm, off, off what I'm post, off, something trying to alter change and, 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 and distract me from what I'm supposed to be really doing. What I'm really supposed to be doing in life. You see, but I, I have let those distractions distract me because I have always stopped what I'm supposed to be doing in life and don't tell him where I would have been and he was telling me that the prophet was telling me that do you know where you're supposed to have been at right now so I ain't no tell ain't no telling and and, and I be I be getting these feelings like this is this is uh this is this is 
This is God trying to give me another chance. Now you know what to do. If you if you distract yourself again, man, this is on you. Can't you know this? So so I I be feeling that like this is on you. So don't let don't let nothing distract you. Guess what, y'all? All All of a sudden, man, I I get I get you know uh, people hit me up, you know, inboxing me from my past, and these are people who I want to stay away from because these are people. That I love them, but I love them from afar. But these are people that when they were in my life, my life went downhill. When they when they were in my life, they always tried to flip the script to make it like I'm the bad one. When they were in my life, they act like they could never see no wrong of what they done. See, these are the people I'm trying to stay away from. These are the people that's trying to show back up. So now that this situation has happened in my life this year, and I done made my mind up, and y'all already know, I talked about this on my channel, and I and I talked about this uh, when I say me and my brother, that's how we are. When we make our, when we make up our mind, that's it, because enough is enough, and we, and, and and we better not start seeing visual and spiritual stuff. Our mind sure gonna be made up, but when we make up our mind, that's it. My mind has been made up about a certain situation. Well, since my mind has been made up about this certain situation, here come all of these people coming out of here. Here come all these distractions coming out of nowhere. Once again, all these different distractions. That's how you know. That's how you know, because the choices that you're making is the right one. The decision that you're making is the right one. The path that you are trying to go on, you are finna go on the right path. This is it this time. Well, always been it, but it's saying like now, like, 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 like now, hey, here you go. These are, these are distractions. People finna, man, I, I can, I, I, I remember hearing this, man. I remember like, like, I remember hearing this. I remember hearing the, the, the prophet. Like, I remember hearing it. Like, people finna try to want to hang out with you again. They want to go to the movies with you. They're going to go out to eat with you. They're going to want to, they're going to want to be your friend again. They're going to want to be your best friend. They're going to want to be, they're going to want, they're going to want to, they want, they want, they want man, he was telling me like, they're going to want to come over your house. They're going to want to, they're going to all, they like, like, like they're going to all want to attach themselves onto you again, KJ. They're going to all want to. When you see this happen, know that. This is because you are on your way. You are on your path. You are pursuing your true destiny. This is why the this is why these distractions are showing back up. And I and I've already had it start happening like 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 is but 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 now I know I know. But yeah, man, that's my time, y'all. Um, I'm out finna get up, man. Wash my face, brush my teeth. Um, hopefully, man, y'all sit all the way through this video. I don't be mean to be. I don't be meaning to be long on these videos like this, y'all. But you gotta understand, this is spirituality. These are visions and signs and messages and all this kind of stuff so it's like i'm not trying to be long it's just so much that has to be explained but uh to the new subscribers i thank y'all man if y'all watch this video man i got more drawings coming more uh dream drawings coming uh more cooking videos, music. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing some rap, some mobile rap lyrics, man. Um, I y'all just gotta give me time though with that because, <sighs> excuse me, y'all gotta give me more time with that because I gotta take my time out to write all these songs, gotta learn them. While at the same time, I'm still doing all these drawings. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of praying, and uh, also, you know, I'm trying to manifest and um 
I'm going to try to draw out spiritual visual dreams too. Yeah, yeah, that's my time. I'm out. Peace.